Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Ryder Siggy and... Ryder's dad, Mike. And that's my new name now, Ryder's dad. So, here, this kid, um... Carson Kemp, is it? Nope. nope. Jack Whalen. Oh, Jack Whalen, yeah, sorry. He was really good at whole shots. He got the whole shot in my race, and then we were watching, and he also got the whole shot in the adult race. So he's a whole shot king. And a two-race kid, so that's pretty impressive, too. Yeah. And I thought he was going to come outside on that corner a little more where I passed him, so I kind of like checked up a little bit, because a lot of the competitors in the GNCCs that we usually do, they would kind of try to like go outside and block me, but um, I, I got around him because he didn't really go to the outside, and now I'm in the lead. So there's a bunch of crazy things that happened in this race, and right now, oh, here's, uh, here's our friend's daughter. Reddington, she's such a sweet girl. The whole family's really cool. But anyway, you're going to see Rodders the Rottle's going to stick. And oh my god, I can barely watch the video because it's just screaming the motor. I'm so glad it didn't blow up. I'm so glad he found somebody to come fix it for him. And uh, you're going to you're gonna hear that happen just about a any moment. Coming up, like, yeah, you'll hear it start to get louder and louder. And then all of a sudden, it's just wailing. And, and have we had problems with your throttle before, Ryder? No, we've never had problems. I mean, I've been racing Yamahas for years. Never had a problem with the throttle. And we put an aftermarket throttle on, and all of a sudden, problems. So, uh. Yeah, now we, we, we don't know if it was mechanical error or an, uh, some design error, so we're not blaming anyone. We're not saying we didn't make a mistake. We don't know yet, but man, it was pretty scary. And that bike was just screaming. Just listen to it. Wow, that dust is pretty bad. And hopefully when we said just listen to it, there's actually screaming because there when is, we're recording yeah. our video, there's no there's no audio. So, um, And thank God you knew where to stop and somebody came and helped you. And this is one of your good friends, right? And former competitors. Yeah, I saw out of the corner of my eye, I saw my friend Vince. We used to go back and forth. Oh, there goes somebody in your class, right? Yeah, we used to go back and, and forth. And another kid. Yeah, all in my class. We used to go back and forth a lot, but now he's in the adult race. So, um... He saw me and he ran over to me, and right now he's fixing my bike. Oh, another kid in your class. Yeah. I know for me, if anything goes wrong with the throttle, which is very rare, but if it does, and you get back on the course or your brakes don't work, it's always a little sensitive first, like, can you trust it? Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen again? Yeah. You hear him. He tells me to keep my hand on the clutch so that I, uh, so in case anything does go wrong again, I'm ready. So, um, a little later in the video, we're going to discuss a, a, a protest uh, that's coming up, and we'll actually pause the video so you can see what happens. And uh, another little crazy thing that happened in this video, or in this race, was I didn't quite understand the scoring. It kept showing uh, overall, like, well, by the way, right, what place are you in now in your class? I'm in fifth right now. You're in fifth, okay. In fifth or sixth. Right, and you were like, you know, 15th overall or something, and it kept showing when you finally moved into... Uh, third overall it showed you were zero seconds behind second and I couldn't understand what was going on because I could see you were way farther than zero seconds behind second even on adjusted time but it turns out their scoring system will not tell you how far behind you are in the overall just how far behind you are in class so the whole race was confusing I don't understand why I saw you get a pretty good hole shot come by in fifth then I saw you uh, really bad in the overall then you were up there then it showed you were seconds behind the whole day was very confusing So what was the course like? Um, it was weird. It was an interesting course. At the beginning of the day, it was like pretty hard packed and dusty, and it was still dusty at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong, but it like it almost turned into sand in some spots. Like it got really a lot softer, like from the tires going on it. I guess I don't know. Right in front of me here, he's in fourth place. And that's Carson Kemp, I think, from Homer, New York, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's got. He's a little big for that bike. Look at his legs hanging out. Poor kid. So I kind of made a mistake here, or not kind of, I did make a mistake. I didn't yell or rev the motor. I mean, I rev the motor a little bit, but I didn't hold it wide to let him know that I was there and I wanted to get around. And I zoned out and stayed behind um, the Carson Kemp for a lot longer than I should have. So, uh, 
And why, did, why didn't you want to rev the motor for him? Oh, I don't really like to rev, like, scream the motor for people in my class because I've had that happen to a couple times for me with kids that are, that are my speed, and I let them go, and then I'm like, wait, I could, I can keep with this kid. I shouldn't have let him go. So I get it. I don't hold it against him. He probably didn't know um, that we had a little difference in speed. That's good. Understandable. One thing that's really cool about the Noi events is they have a really nice uh, vendor row. And there's a vendor there. His name is Greg. And you can see here he's got a really nice setup. He sells lots of real, uh, really important stuff that you can use. Kenda tires, Scott goggles. And they'll change your tires there. They'll flip your tires. They'll put a new tube in. And um, they'll, they just really take care of the racers really well. I think he told us he was the second biggest vendor for Noya. And uh, I know he races too, his family races, so he works all day in the sun, the rain, whatever it is, they're freezing, then goes out racing, comes back, and does it again. <laughs> Greg, Mama Budget. Hey! What's going on? You know who that nice is? collection of Scott Goggles. <laughs> that's, what, that's my new name, Rider's Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So if you don't mind, if you can please like and subscribe to the video and also comment, that would be great. Ryder is hoping to build up his YouTube account and uh, we actually just got an email from YouTube saying in the month of June there was 62,000 minutes, not 62,000 views, 62,000 minutes, which is 6,200 hours of view time. And his last video actually was really popular, it was 10,000 uh, views. It's the uh, Snowshoe GNCC where that was a crazy video if you have time to check it out. Kids are doing 50 miles an hour and there's, you'll see in the video, there's kids all over the place crashed on straightaways because the straightaways are have loose rocks and stuff. So anyway, that's a crazy video, but if you can like and subscribe, that would be great. And um, Ryder's, like I said, trying to make a make a, a real uh, more of his YouTube channel. And you know he spends a lot of time and money on these things. Uh, we're on how many computers, Ryder? This is our third one, and they're each close to a thousand dollars. Yeah, one got one broke from taking to the races, but the others just couldn't handle it. We bought Adobe software, several cameras. We have two now. We've lost other or broke other cameras. How often do you break a lens? Pretty much every race. <laughs> Pretty much every race, right? I'm surprised you're having this last race, and we even have lens covers now. So yeah, liking, subscribing, and commenting would be a great way for us to help us build our account and justify all this that we're spending on the uh, races. So um, right here, I get around Carson, and I move from fourth to third. Uh, I want, one of the reasons I like these Noya races that I've been going to is because they're great practice for GNCC. Uh, like they're fast, like a GNCC, and it gets me used to like um, trying to keep my head in the game when I'm not in a battle. This time I was kind of in a battle because I dropped back to fifth when I had the um, when I had the throttle problem. But usually I'm trying to get the overall from the second row, and I have to keep my head like I can't give up. So. It's, it's good practice. So that's great that you're trying to get the overall, but like it's never, an ex you never expect to get it because it's, yeah. you know, there's always fast kids, but it's nice to have that as your intention, but never your expectation. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of really fast kids at the races. So we're again, we're getting close to the point where we're going to show you what the protest is about, but you will actually wait, we're going to wait till you see it in the video. Yeah. Oh, here, I took a bad line. I didn't know if I could get over those logs or not, but I got over them. So one thing that Noya does that I've never seen any race series do before, well, there's a couple things, but they run two races simultaneously, and two races going on at the same time all day long on Sunday. Quads on one side, bikes on the other. When that's over, quads again, bikes again. It's like, it's pretty impressive how they can pull it off, and they do a pretty good job at it. Yeah. It's a pretty well-run series. By the way, we're, oh, here's oh, a... Yeah, here's um, Jack Whalen again. He's the kid that got all the, all the uh, hole shots, and he's in second right now. So I'm in third, he's in second, and um, he lets me go in a little while, which is really nice. It's nice when people let you go, especially when they're in your class, if they, like, if they think you're faster than them. So that was nice of them. Thank you. 
Yeah, that is really nice. And let's face it, we're all just racing for fun. There's, you know, KTM's not here giving out factory rides. And everyone wants to ride the speed that's best for them, whether they're going to ride medium speed or super speed or slow speed. They just want to ride a speed that's comfortable for them. So if someone wants to ride, I'm not saying he's riding slow, but if someone is slow, they want to ride slow, let them do it. It's fine. It's up to them. You can't complain. If someone wants to ride faster than you, let them go and let them do it no matter what. Like, you know, you don't have to... You don't have to block people all race long. All right, maybe you're coming to the finish line. You don't have to pull over at the very, very end. But for the rest of that, like, you know, you should let people ride their, their preferred speed. He's going good. Especially he knows he's got to race another race. That's, like, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and here's where he let me go. So um, we're going to tell you a little bit about the next video that we're making, or maybe the one after that, but probably the next video. Uh, so we're going to explain the differences in all the different types of racing. And by the way, up here on the Kawasaki is the Kinnam First. Uh, Landon Schaefer, Schaefer, I don't really know how to say that last name too well. He's going good. Yeah. So um, it explains all the different types of racing that you can do or that we've ever done. And what are some of those races that you've done? Um, National Enduro, Sprint Enduro, Hair Scrambles, like GNCC or this race. Local Hair Scrambles and GNCC, yep, what else? Yeah, um, J-Day, which is two 30-minute sprints. We also have another J-Day video that we'll be releasing soon. Mm -hmm. And what else? Now, can kids race National Enduros? Yeah, you can, kids can race a certain amount. There's like six of them, I think, that are kids' events, which mm -hmm. means that you can race them out of kids. Right. Hey, oh, right, here. Yep. Go ahead. Sorry. Right here is where the protest happened. You know what? We'll 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 just pause it a little farther up. Like when you go by the next lap, which is just in like even a minute. It's not a full lap. And yeah. You can, we'll pause it and show show what happened there. Here, um, Landon gets a little. He comes into the turn a little hot and goes outside, and I get on the inside of him and get the pass. So once again, I'll stop saying it, but if you can please like and subscribe, that would be awesome. It's just the little red button there and the thumbs up. That would be really great, and you'll be informed of our next videos. So this is pretty much our first year um, that we've done a couple Niovas, and it seems like a, a pretty well-run series. I mean, the live scoring doesn't really work, or not that it doesn't work. There is no live scoring, but... Why not? Because there's no internet at the races. There's no internet at the GNCCs either, but somehow they get live scoring out. And um, I've, I've been to three this year, three Niolas. Two of them are dusty and one of them was muddy. Not really much in between. Oh, right here. Yeah, so the rules are you have to go between the two arrows. And if you go outside those two arrows... Or you, inside. Or inside, right. That's cutting the course. And some people might not know that. And we're not even sure that's the exact spot where the protest was. And just to be clear, the protest wasn't for us. It was for another rider. And yeah. I saw someone present it to an official from the race. And the official, I kind of just saw it like, you know, over someone's shoulder. Said, yeah, that's not right. You're going to have to show it to this guy. So we think the results are going to change quite a bit. Um, but we don't really know for sure that's the spot. And we're going to leave the rest of that up to you. So we don't have a podium this race because uh, everything happened like kind of fast and my dad was talking when the podium speech was going on. It's alright though, the mic was kind of quiet. Um, the Yamaha worked great, I just wanted to say for this race. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to write them in the comments. Thank you for watching and here's to some of my friends and I talking. See you in the next one, bye. Remember that when we're riding the fans, we like to cover it. Ooh, that's fun.